hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today in this video we are going to learn about three different plugins that can be used to explore osm data that is open street map data in qgis uh, as you already know what is osm open street map so in case if you don't know about open street map uh, open street map is a freely editable map that is you can use the data uh, geospatial data the location related data and that is freely available for your case uh, it contains the data point and in polygon of all the world around the world data so you can explore that data using you can download that data using different plugins in qgis and you can use for your for creating your map uh, in qgis uh, so in this uh, video we are going to use qgis if you don't know how to use the QGIS, if you are not familiar with the QGIS, you can watch my entire uh, beginner series on QGIS. Uh, you can see here at the top right button, uh, you can see a pop up of uh, QGIS for beginner. You can click on that and you can go to the beginner series on QGIS. Uh, it's very important you learn about QGIS because QGIS is an open source platform open source gis software uh, that you don't have to pay for it you can get different plugins and different uh, toolbar that can be helpful in creating a geospatial information through your gis software so let's get to the beginning of our course we'll be learning three different plugins so let me start from the beginning Okay, at the beginning, I have this save file that is uh, Siddharth Nagar Municipality, and then I have to uh, we have to install different plugins. So for that case, go to plugins and search on go to manage and install plugin. For my case, I have already installed uh, three different plugins. In your case, you have to install yourself if you haven't installed already. So go to not installed and search for the first is uh osm map services so for that case i have already installed here you can see this um, sorry quick max or quick map services and then you can see a reinstall plugin i have re i will reinstall my plugin so if you don't have installed already you you will see here install plugin and after installing the plugin plugin you can see three different here layers that is a uh, one two and three so let me go with the first and this is meta search let me go with second you can see a different uh, background and so this is helpful in adding background base map layer in your uh, map so let me go with the osm standard map when i click on this you can see osm standard map is shown let me zoom in with the zoom in your this map is dynamic so it will show the data at the zoom level you can see a lot of data here at this location and you can also add a satellite image arrays so for that case we'll go with this meta search either from this you can search qms or qms or from directly selecting this and let's me let me search google map and then it will search google map satellite imagery and i'll add this okay after adding this you can see here the google map will so let me on click this and you can zoom in to show the google map so if you want to add google satellite imagery you have google sorry let me search only google and then you can see google satellite imagery also okay google satellite imagery okay google satellite hybrid so let me add this after adding this after adding this you can see google satellite hybrid so let me click this and you can see google satellite hybrid imagery also so in this way you can add a base map layer using quick max or quick map service plugin now let's go to the second plugin that is quick osm plugin so i have already installed in case of where you have to go to not install not in install click on not install and then search for quick osm 
Yeah, I have already installed, so I will reinstall the plugin. It will take some time. So with Quick OSM, you can download any type of feature. So let me uh, make you clear. You in OpenStreetMap, uh, you have OSM Wiki. That is the Wikipedia app, OpenStreetMap. In OSM Wiki, when I have to search the feature, I will go with. Let me search with ATM. So for the ATM, you have to give two types of value. That is key and uh, value that is also called the combination is called tag so this is the tag that is amenity equals to atm here amenity is the key and atm is the value so this will be useful when downloading the data from open street map every feature in the open street map will have this tag that is the pair of uh, key and value and we have to give this pair and pair of key and value in uh, osm quick osm so when i install quick osm you can see this is the quick osm uh, option in your right ear bar now i'll click on this so here is the combination this is key and this is value just i showed in osm wiki you can see tag equals to amenity tag is amenity equals to atm so amenity is the key atm equals to value so i will give amenity equals to key and tag is sorry value is atm and i will go with the location in location what is the location so for me i will go with siddhartha nagar this is my location and then i will run the query when run the query it will okay successful query one layer has been loaded so one layer of immunity has been added so here you can see immunity the ATM in Siddhartha Nagar municipality has been added. So let me again open this layer. So you can see here is the ATM. ATM Lakshmi Bank ATM. Here this is the Lakshmi Bank ATM. And then here is another ATM. Here is Nepal SBI Bank Limited ATM. So in this way you can download any type of feature. Let me go with. Uh, for building i guess for building i will sort building in osm wiki then i will get the tag then search okay so for building okay building equals to asterisk asterisk means all type of building okay so for building or either you can use building equals to yes or building equals to asterisk building equals to asterisk gives all types of building so because in siddhartha nagar the building the number of building is very large it may take some time to load the building so let me do once building equals to yes in siddhartha nagar Okay, it will take some time to load the data because uh, it is the uh, the building data is so many in Siddhartha Nagar. Okay, so it is parsing the layers, multiple polygons. Okay, it has added two types of layer. One is point data, one is uh, polygon data. Uh, for our case, we don't need the point data, so we'll remove the point data. And let me go with polygon data. So you can see the building data here is shown in. Uh, with this uh, so this is uh, by searching through the uh, certain uh, location name if you have the boundaries so in my case see that now i have this boundary let me remove once again this and if you want to download certain data within your boundary you have, you can click on this and then let me go with building equals to s in here in layer extent and i will use siddhartha nagar as my layer extent this is the say file of this area and i will use this and run the query and it will again take some time to download the data and we will be we, we can use our layer to download so you can see within this boundary you can see that data has been downloaded 
so in case of layer reaction it will use uh, the polygon so the boundary is this and then it will create this this type of boundary so a rectangular boundary around the polygon around the shape and it will download the data so because you have you can see here is the extent of the boundary so it has gone straight up to this this type uh, this up to this and you can clip the uh, data within this uh, boundary by clipping function in uh, vector data so i'll remove once again this okay now what i can do is i can only download a selected feature so let me remove this and open my os in there so maybe i only need the data of this durga mandir so in that case what i will do is i will go with the next plugin uh, that is osm info okay so this is the next plugin so i will click reinstall you have to go to not install and install this plugin so after this let me here you can see osm info so i'll click on this so the cursor the color of the cursor will change to blue and when i click on this it will take some time to load the data and it will show all the feature nearby of this so i need the data of durga mandir so i clicked on this so this is the durga mandir so is inside inside durga mandir what is inside durga mandir uh, so durga mandir is inside okay so you can see the tag of the durga mandir here and then let me go with this this is the uh maybe residential area this is the siddharth nagar boundary of siddharth nagar municipality so you can see this is rupande district boundary so if i want only one type of data so let me uh i, I if i want only rupande i will go with the right click and say best temporary here. so you can see in layer you can see this is temporary and if you want to make it permanent go to make permanent and save on your location as uh, save file you can see esri save file and then i'll go with the location any location i want okay i'll save the area as rupande Okay, Rupandehi. Rupandehi. And then I will click OK. Uh, overwrite file. Okay, see, there is called because already there is a Rupandehi, so I will overwrite. And if I go to Siddhartha Nagar, I can go this. So you can see this picture is within Rupandehi district, Lumini province, Western Development Region, and it is inside Nepal. So uh, it uh, shows uh, in which boundary the feature lies so uh, you can download any type of data from this so let me clear this once again if i want the data of road so what i'll do is i'll click on the road and it will show me the data of the road so see that i this is the, the road or road that i wanted so let me click on this you can see you can see you can download the Siddhartha Highway data. Okay, so where is the Siddhartha Highway? Porsari or Om Satya or Rupandehi district or Lumbini province. So you can download the boundary as well as the feature also nearby feature. So if you want the point feature, you can go in the point feature or Siddhartha Highway. So this is Siddhartha Highway. So you can download the Siddhartha Highway within the, your, your, your range. So in this way, you can use uh, three types of plugin in. QGIS to download the OpenStreetMap data. It is very convenient. It is very easy to download any type of data that is inside the OpenStreetMap and you can use it to prepare your own map. I guess uh, this uh, video was helpful in learning some of the basic tools in QGIS to download OpenStreetMap. Uh, if you like this video, just share it uh, to your friend so that they will also know the use of QGIS and the QGIS plugin in downloading OpenStreetMap because we have been using OpenStreetMap but could not download the OpenStreetMap data this video could be very useful for them so thank you very much for watching uh, let's uh, see you in another video bye bye